Thanks for tuning in to GTO Good Old Boys. Buckle up and enjoy the show with your host, Paul Ponder. Hey guys, I'm Paul Ponder. I'm the host for GTO Good Old Boys uh, podcast tonight. And uh, what, who we got with us is Mr. Brad Abelman and Mrs. Haley Hargrove. We're glad to have both of them here and uh, really thank a lot of both of them. We'll get into Mr. Brad later, but we're going to take ladies first. I hear you're fixing to marry this man. Yes, I am. Can you let us know how he proposed to you? So um, I did not know that he was going to propose to me. Um, it was all a surprise. I had a little bit of suspicion, but I just didn't know when. I think but... she caught me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, think she, I think she knew it was coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. He, he's not a very good um, at hiding things. <laughs> 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 but um, so a day before, I think it was Christmas, mm -hmm. a we days, had yeah. a do it. It was a couple of days, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, something like so, that. So um, we had a little family get together before we headed out to New York to see Brad's family. Um, and, you know, we spent some time with my family and we opened gifts and stuff from my side of the family. And um, then he, you know, gave me his gifts. And then in the last gift and the many gifts that he got me for Christmas, um, it was a jacket. And um, it was a really nice jacket. And I tried it on and... I noticed that there was something in the pocket of the jacket, and when I looked in there, it was a ring box. And when I looked at Brad, he was on one knee. He said, will you marry me? And I was just like, what? <laughs> and I, I really was not expecting that to be in the jacket. So it was a surprise in a way. Did you, so. did you tear up? I did. A few minutes later, I was like just so shocked. That right. I, I just... I couldn't believe it. So, but yeah, I eventually started crying, you know, in a happy way. So. Right, exactly. So he was very sweet, one knee and all, huh? Very sweet. He was. I'm impressed, bro. Yeah, not bad. I'm not a very smooth operator, though. It was a little, it was a little clunky. He, I was hoping she found it as soon as she put the jacket on. Yeah. But I had to say, "What's in your pocket?" Oh. And then, and, and then she yeah. found. She's like, "Oh." What is this? <laughs> it was funny. I it bet was it was yeah. funny. Yeah, it was. And you accepted, of course. Yeah, of course. Have y'all set a date? We have um, August 3rd. August 3rd. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds good. Well, congratulations, y'all. I'm you. glad. And what do you do now? I am a um, help desk technician at Athens State University. Um, I am currently working on a master's in training and development, and I hope to, you know, one day become a training development coordinator someday at some company. Right. Not sure what company, but hopefully work up to that. That sounds great. Sounds like you got your life planned out. Yes. You got your hubby, <laughs> our future hubby, <laughs> and now you've got your your career. Yes. Where did you go to school? Um, at college. Uh-huh. I went to, or I currently go to Athens State University. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're still working. That's right. You said you was working on it. Yeah. That's it. Right. Okay, and how did you and Brad meet? So we met on a online dating website, um, and on our first date, we met at, what is it called, Bonefish? Yeah, restaurant in Huntsville. Yeah, yeah. South and Huntsville. it went really well, and um, I wanted to see him again, and not before the date was even over, he said, when am I going to see you again? Um, and it just... Before the, each date that we went on was over, he would be like, when are we going to see each other? When are we going to see each other again? And um, eventually, you know, he asked me to be his girlfriend, um, and we made it official in uh, December of 2022. Okay. So, I'm, I'm persistent. Well, I don't that, blame That's why you. I'm a sales guy. Pretty daggum <laughs> quick, too, ain't you? <laughs> that's right. That that's sounds right. great. Well, I am so proud for y'all. Y'all sound like y'all got everything worked out, and... Uh, with Brad here, he's the how how do you fit in with Ducket Fishing? I'm the the national sales manager for Ducket. And yep. what does that consist of, Brad? Selling fishing rods and baits and reels and, and a little bit of everything. So I um I spend a lot of time on the road visiting customers from independent retail to uh, you know distributors and big box as well. So spend a lot of time traveling and and uh, doing sales calls, setting up sales meetings and uh, things like that. You're away from home a lot. I am. I am away from home quite a bit. I travel a good bit. Yep. What do you think about that, young lady? 
I'm very proud of him. Um, when he told me that what he did when we first started dating, I was like, that's really impressive for his age. At right. the time, he was 22. And um, that's a really impressive career at a such an a young age. And that's when I knew that he was a very, or is a very motivated and dedicated person. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot of respect for him. Great. I first met him. Well, I can tell how y'all look at one another. It's going to be a long-lasting relationship. And that's what's fun for me to sit back as old as I am. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get down on my knee. That wasn't <laughs> that wasn't good. <laughs> Is that right? Back in the back in time. And now, was it good? No, you didn't get down on your knee. That was a sissy thing to do. Oh, really? No, I just, <laughs> I just didn't do it. Y'all, I mean, y'all are great. It tickles me to death that people do that and uh, still carry that tradition yeah. on. Yeah. And so, uh, but now. What all art do you sell? I know you sell fishing rods. You got yep. several different skews of them. What about your baits? Yeah, the the bait business is uh is fairly new for ducket fishing. You know, um, ducket is a people will call it a rod company, right? But over the last three or four years, we've been growing in the bait business. We've been growing our distribution, our marketing programs, and uh, also we're releasing some really really cool baits. I know an angler that you sponsor, Jacob Wall, is yes. uh, is on our team now, and we're aggressively developing some some forward-facing sonar baits with him and, and wow. among, among other things. So the bait business has, has been a fast-growing piece for us, and um, we're looking to get into it pretty pretty heavily and bring some baits to market. Is it not exciting to see a is. bait start from a piece of wood oh, yeah. and just erupt into yeah. something that, that a professional fisherman is going to be using? Absolutely. That's that's probably one of my favorite things about working in the fishing industry is to, is to be a part of that process, to see that process, and even get to help with it a little bit. And uh, right. having having baits before they hit the market is is pretty cool, too. And I, I probably figure you're going to be doing a lot of testing, aren't you? I do. I do a lot of, as much as I can. That's right. As much testing as I can, I, I do. That's right. Now, guys, this guy right here, he stays on top of everything, but he sneaks off fishing, too. Yeah. So if you ever wonder where he is, He's fishing. Most right, definitely. Right out there somewhere. That's yeah. exactly right. Not far from here, are you? Yeah, not far from here. That's it. That's well, it. what we're going to do is go to a short break, and uh, when we come back, we're going to get into how you work your fishing, what you use, how you fish it, and mm -hmm. uh, not, well, it don't matter. You can tell them where you go if you want to. That's all up right. to you. Hey, it's all so, good. So we'll, we'll talk just, about it. We'll just go from there, and we'll mm -hmm. have a good time. Y'all hang on. You're going to find out some forward-facing sonar. We'll be back with more GTO Good Old Boys after this. Welcome to Eden's Energy and Protein. We are now open on Saturdays, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Sundays, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. until school is out. We offer tea bombs, protein shakes, coffee, shaved ice, ice cream, banana splits, and last but not least, everyone's favorite, the most delicious milkshakes. Come by and see us. Don't miss out on a great sweet treat after a long day on the water. We are located right outside of Waterfront at 6955 Scottsboro Highway. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Eden's Energy and Protein. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. <laughs> 